right, next galaxy, I'll, uh, I should say, continuing on through the galaxies, I'm going to go back to Freeze Flame, Freeze Flame Galaxy. Man, I'm just tongue-twisting myself to my own doom today in commentary. Uh, Freeze Flame's blistering core. Oh my goodness, lava! So hot, so sweaty. Bring your air conditioner, but it might not help that much. So we start off at the same donut ice planet over here, only this time you don't really have to race a penguin. You have to get those star pieces right there. Um, there's a couple on the top side, a couple on the bottom side, and you gotta get them. I think there's three on the top and two on the bottom. And there's a third, so I should probably go to the bottom now and see if my suspicions are correct. What's this do? Starbits! Oh, Starbits! <laughs> Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I was getting all drugged up from Starbits and excitement. Oh, yes. There's a coin there. Where's the last Starbit? Oh, there it is. If they're, all the Starbits are inside these crystal -y thingies. And, oh, some of those pole stars appear at the top along with a sling star. Grab your way across them. And, woo! Let's go to the core of Freeze Flame Galaxy. Music change to awesomeness. You gotta love that lava-ish beat. As you can see, there's a very, very well-hidden star shroom over there. That You'll never find that one without my help. That, that was the most hidden star shroom ever. And I just jumped off the wrong side, but it still worked, off, worked out there. Some of these things sink in the ground, so be very careful. And jump, uh, jump quickly if you need to. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. These things you can't kill just yet, but you will right now. Touch that thing, a fire flower will appear. This is another new power up. Uh, you grab the fire flower, you can throw fire flowers by shaking the Wii Remote. Woo! It's just like throwing fireballs or throwing a ball at someone or, you, you know, playing catch, I don't know. But the, now you can really <laughs> look up, look at all, look at their face and I burn them. Their eyes get massive. Just like, I have been burned. Oh no, what am I going to do? Um, and go over here real quick, and you want to burn this torch right here. Ah, oh, I did it too slow, I have to go back. You want to burn those two torches over there with the fire flowers. I should say the fire balls from the, getting the fire flower. Woo! Yeah, I, I always love long jumping. Long jumping just gets you places so easily. You can't go wrong with long jumping. And it also gets you there faster. So, if you have to get somewhere fast, Use long jumps, and now when you uh, put those things on fire, staircases will rise from the lava. Ironically, they are stone staircases, and they aren't burning in the lava or melting in the lava. But don't question the game logic. I'm not questioning it. I'm I'm just saying, you know, just 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 as an observation that that that's happening there. Okay, over here, an, an unlimited amount of these critters will be spawning. So it doesn't really pay to try and kill them. So just get over to this torch here and burn it. Oh, actually, torch is, excuse me. Uh, and there's some more over here. And, oh, hey, let me throw, there we go. And now this wall will move upwards, which will create a wall jumping area. Um, and also a floor, which I have no idea why it has to be like that, because it flips the whole thing around. I guess the, the he two halves of the planet have different gravity. Don't question it, you know. Never question it. Oh, no, 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 I don't think so. Roll this over this way. Just like this. And there's your platform. Yeah. That's how you make your way across safely. And long jump over here. Oh, shoot. No. Oh, my goodness. Hot lava. Lava is hot. Woo. Okay. That wasn't that bad, actually. Well, there's your star in that cage over there, in case you didn't see that, but you have to free it. And in order to free it, you got to shoot some fireballs over at those two torches over there. So, to, in order to do that, 
I gotta throw it like, uh, angle it so it rolls down the hill at those torches. Uh, I just ignited one of them. Uh, come on, I can do the other one. I can so totally do the other one. Ah, oh, I didn't get the other one. Dang it, then I got my butt burned. Now I have to get another fire flower. Uh, this, that one last torch over there was pretty tough to get, and I don't recommend that you do it on that moving platform, um, because you'll be shooting at it from all different angles and stuff like that. You just, you just want a static area that you can, um, shoot from. Oh, shoot. Like, I want to shoot it from, like, no, like, th that angle right there. Oh, that was too high, I guess. Wait, ah, oh, I thought I had, oh, I did get it that time. And a pathway should open now along the floor there. And all I have to do is ride one of these platforms down to get to the star. Whenever a platform comes along, there we go. Plop on there. Long jump if you'd like, and get to the star. Woo! Next star in Freeze Flame Galaxy will be something called like, well, like Fire and Ice Meet or something like that. It's going to be a combination of both elements in the same stage. Oh, Hot and Cold Collide. I was pretty close on name there, kind of. Well, at least in terms of meaning. Um, so yeah, there's a bunch of fire, there's a bunch of ice, and uh, yeah, this is where both galaxies collide, evidently. And we're still, we're still gonna start out on this ice planet, which is now covered by these miniature suns or stars or whatever. Um, watch out for the solar flares that are coming from them, these things right there. I would be very surprised if we took a hit from one of those things. Uh, honestly, uh, but break your way through here. Whoa, 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 hey, hey. No grab, bad gravity, Mario. Skate around here. Uh, it's much easier to go around in this deck of direction than it is on uh, the first direction, but to be honest, either way is pretty easy. But the reason why this, the second way around that donut is easy, is or easier, is because you're going with the fire and not against it. All right, so now we're over here. There's some sea urchins. And your first objective is to go all the way over here. See the switch? Hit it. Or I should say spin it. That'll unlock the door that you need to progress forward. Just like that. And look out for this rising and falling current. It keeps going in and out. You know if you fall in the water, that's ultra cold. And now, we're all going to the hot side of the planet. Yes, the hot side. And as you can see, it's very hot. But you go along this right side here, don't fear the lava, just wait for it. Wait, wait, this isn't the side? I could have swore this was the side. Dang it! Well, that one gives you star bits. Maybe that's why I always uh, thought that was the side, because it gives you star bits. Oh, wait, this isn't the part I'm thinking of. No wonder! Um, you can tell where something is safe and where it's not by the scorched land, and if it's discolored land. Like, uh, I'll show you right here. Um, like, go down here, you'll see, see how this part of the rock is darker? Yeah, that tells you that, um, lava will flow along that area, so don't, so don't spend too much time around that area. Um, now that the gate's open and you got yourself a fire flower, grab that fire flower and go back to this other area. And now you gotta light some torches. Uh, I actually forgot what the torches are, I just need, I just know that I need to light them. Oh, they're on the other side! Uh, oh shoot, don't fall in the water, Mario. Oh, I didn't fall too hard. In, or I, I should say in too deep in water. Lights. No, no, I don't want to get another fire flower. Oh shoot, I have to go all the way back. Alright, this time hopefully I won't get burned by my own torch here. There we go! And a sling star will appear here. And go in that sling star and you'll appear into this area. Well, not up here, you'll fly over to this area, and this is the part where you uh, are racing for time using these ice flowers here. See, the, see those lava squares? See this ice flower? This makes no sense whatsoever, but you can ice skate on them. Do not question it, people. Do not question it. I'm, I'm just saying for observation's sake. I'm sure there's some scientific explanation that, that'll, that'll tell you, you know, the reason why you're able to do this, but, so, I, I, as for now, I will, won't question it. And uh, now we're just walking along here, and you could also ice skate if you wanted to, but that's kind of risky to do, you know, so you don't fall off the edge or something like that. Um, as you can see, this is the same trail I took when I, uh, did the Cosmic Mario race. 
but this time it's full of lava instead of ice. So it's not really much different. <laughs> you just have a little bit of, uh, you have just have to race for, uh, until, oh, what am I saying? You have to make sure that you get there before the time runs out of the ice floor. But then again, you still have to get there quickly when you're racing Cosmic Mario. So they really are about the same. Well, anyway, that's all the stars I'm getting in for this part. I'll see you guys in the next part. It's 46 stars already. Wow. This is, this walkthrough is just blazing by.